welcome to lecture number 19 NPTEL online certification course on bioreactors. In the previous lecture we had uh, assigned a problem practice problem 5.1. Let us solve that in this lecture. The problem read let us consider the same stoichiometry as earlier uh, the earlier that we considered in the lecture uh, CHMOL plus ANH3 plus BO2 giving you YX CHPON uh, NQ plus YP CH R O S N T plus C H 2 O plus D C O 2. These are the stoichiometric coefficients um, A B Y X Y P C and D. Estimate the cell oxygen yield coefficient Y X slash O defined as the ratio of the amount of cells produced to the amount by the amount of uh, uh, to the amount of oxygen consumed in terms of the relevant parameters among gamma s, gamma x, gamma p, epsilon, eta and xi. Assume that the mass fraction of carbon in cells is 0.5. Let us look at the solution. What is needed? Our uh, usual first question. Yxo in terms of the various quantities that we have defined is what we need. What is known or given the stoichiometric equation is known, the mass fraction of carbon in biomass is 0 0.5 that is known and how do we connect what is needed to what is given. We know that uh, Y X slash O2 yield of cells with respect to oxygen by definition is mass of cells or biomass produced divided by the mass of oxygen that is consumed. From the stoichiometric equation, the biomass produced contains y x moles of C or 12 y x grams of C. Let us see this stoichiometric equation again. You know, this is our biomass here. This is y x is the stoichiometric coefficient and C has a subscript of 1, right? For uh, this has been probably normalized for a mole of C and Y X moles are formed. Therefore, this particular stoichiometry gives Y X moles of C and uh, we know that if we multiply moles by the molecular mass we get grams and therefore, uh, Y X moles of C or 12 times Y X grams of C. If the mass fraction of carbon in biomass is 0.5 that we have that is what we have been asked to assume in this problem. The biomass produced is 12 y x by 0 0.5. The uh, you know uh, this is unitary method it might appear a little odd in the beginning but it is just unitary method. The mass fraction is 0 0.5. Uh, if 1 contains 0 0.5, how much will 12, 12 uh, y x contain or in other words, if 0 0.5 c in biomass corresponds to 1 biomass, 0 0.5 c corresponds to 1 biomass, how much would uh, 12 y x grams of c correspond to? What is the biomass it will correspond to? That will be 12 y x by 0 0.5. Uh, 0.5 of 12 yx if 0.5 is 12 yx what is 1 okay that is the unitary method uh, that we used to get this particular expression here just go ahead and practice this it might appear a little odd in the beginning but it is just unitary method. From the above shown stoichiometric equation that we saw earlier the oxygen requirement for every mole of substrate is b moles okay. Uh, we saw that equation. Let us just see it again. You have B moles for every mole of the substrate here. So, oxygen requirement for every mole of the substrate is B moles and the molecular mass of oxygen is 32 and therefore, 32 B grams is what is the mass of oxygen that is required here we are converting everything into mass because the yield coefficient is defined in terms of masses. 
Therefore, the yield of cells with respect to substrate, the mass of cells is 12 yx by 0 0.5 and the mass of oxygen is 32 b y x o 2. Um, you know y x o is some representation that I have used earlier. For the purposes of this problem, let us say o and o 2 re, uh, refer to the same molecular oxygen. Uh, so, let there not be any confusion regarding that y x slash o 2. B and y x here are specific for a given stoichiometry. right? So, you need to know the actual conditions to be able to estimate these if we talk in terms of B and y x. But we said that the advantage of this method is that we have thumb rule values for certain quantities and we can use those thumb rule values to get quick estimates. Okay. Those certain quantities for which we have thumb rule values could be gamma s, gamma x, gamma p right? and the fraction of electrons transferred to oxygen by a mass or product that is epsilon, eta and xi. These are the ones that can be somewhat generalized. We have some thumb rule values that we can quickly use to estimate. We already know that for a variety of cells gamma x equals 4.2, about 4.2. From our formulation, we know that uh, 4b by gamma s this is a fraction of electrons uh, supplied of the substrate supplied to oxygen, this y x gamma x by gamma s the fraction of electrons supplied to the biomass plus y p gamma p by gamma s the fraction of electrons supplied to the product these fractions must equal 1. Therefore, uh, we had defined uh, 4 b by gamma s as epsilon, y x gamma x by gamma s as eta and y p gamma p by gamma s as xi. So, epsilon plus eta plus xi equals 1, this we have already seen, just repeating this. Thus, y x s slash o 2 we have already seen this is mass of cells by mass of oxygen 12 y x by 0 0.5. 12 by 0 0.5 is 24 y x from here is nothing but eta gamma s by gamma x. That is what I have done here. Eta gamma s by gamma x has been replaced for y x and 32 b. b from here is nothing but epsilon gamma s by 4. So, epsilon gamma s by 4 uh, has been uh, used for B here and if we cancel the terms this is uh, 4 goes here 8 times, 8 goes here 3 times, uh, well that, that comes a little later I guess 24 and uh, there is uh, some value that is here, uh, there is some, some error here. So, uh, ultimately it will Hold on. This is 24 here. This is uh, eta gamma s by gamma s. This is shown 32 here. Epsilon gamma s by 4 is shown. 4, uh, yeah, 4 times 8 is 32. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. 4 times 8 is 32. So 24 eta by 8 uh, epsilon gamma x. The gamma s's would get cancelled here. So this is what remains here. And uh, here we have 24 uh, uh, the gamma this epsilon times gamma x we have here the epsilon plus eta plus xi equals 1. So, we could write epsilon in terms of eta and xi which are easier parameters to have. Therefore, epsilon has been written in terms of 1 minus eta minus xi. Uh, the 8 is uh, superfluous here. So, let us get rid of the 8. So, 8 goes, here, uh, 8 goes in 24 3 times. So, 3 eta divided by gamma x from here times epsilon 1 minus eta minus xi. Let us do that right away so that uh, there is no confusion. Yes, so that has been
taken care of. 3 times eta 24 by 8, uh, I guess I forgot to uh, not include that when making this particular slide, uh, the calculations are okay, but just the representation here there was an error that is all. Okay, let us get back to wherever we were. 3 eta by gamma x 1 minus eta minus xi. So, finally, we have gotten the yield coefficient, uh, coefficient of cells with respect to oxygen as 3 eta divided by gamma x 1 minus eta minus xi. So, in terms of all the generalized parameters for which we have some thumb rule numbers. Therefore, oxygen uptake rates can be estimated from biomass formation data. We already know gamma x, eta and xi, you can look into the literature to find some estimates and those estimates can be used. Okay. With that, we come to the end of uh, this lecture. When we meet in the next lecture, we will take module 5 forward. See you then.